Good day, everyone. Welcome back for today's episode of My Teacher Drinks as I work my way through Difford's Guide Cocktail Hall of Fame. Today's cocktail is the Bellini, number 24 on the list. Now, the Bellini is a cocktail that, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of us in North America, we think of it as a uh, blended uh, fruit puree, sugary, sweet, bright colored drink in all kinds of wonderful flavors. That's not really the origin, and as a purist of history in the cocktails, I'm going to tell you the Italian story of the Bellini. Uh, so the Bellini came to us from 1945. A gentleman named uh, Giuseppe Caprini, uh, he created this uh, at uh, Harry's Bar in Venice, uh, Italy. And he, because of the pink hue from the peaches, uh, he named it the Bellini after uh, Giovanni Bellini, who was a famous Italian artist known for using pink in his art. So there you have the reason for the name uh, and the color behind it. Uh, it was made, always made with fresh peaches. And so when this drink became very popular and kind of spread around the world, and you know, if you don't make it in season, then people started to using uh, frozen peach purees and then they started using not peach at all and just kind of throwing random fun things into a blender and you know fun but not the original Bellini so however you enjoy your Bellini is the way you enjoy your Bellini I'm not gonna tell you it's wrong I'm just giving you the history so let's make a Bellini we're gonna make the original Italian one as close as I can without fresh peaches. So, uh, this is a peach puree that I did actually have to make from, um, some, from some frozen peaches, but this would be fresh peaches if I could be making it in season, which I'm not. All right, so we got two ounces or 60 milliliters of peach puree, and then one ounce or 30 milliliters of, uh, peach schnapps. Uh, I'd love to use Sons of Vancouver peach schnapps, but I can't get it locally right now. So I'm using McGillicuddy's and that's what I got. And then we got uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice that I'm gonna chop up and squeeze real fast here. So Harry's Bar in uh, Venice, it was really famous for having uh, celebrities of all kinds. Um, Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, many, many of the great notorious drinkers of all time and celebrities have been going to Harry's Bar and still are. Bellini purists uh, make pilgrimages to, uh, to Harry's Bar to get this drink. So. Fine strain this because there's gonna be a lot of peach, a lot of fruit in here. So let me try and keep that out of our drink so it's a much smoother, more refreshing beverage. Okay, we got what we need out of it. I got a bit of Prosecco left. Mm-hmm, <laughs> And then, because I don't have fresh peaches, but I do have fresh oranges, I'm gonna do a little orange slice on here. And there you have the closest I can do right now at this time of year <laughs> to Giuseppe Caprini's uh, 1945 original Bellini. Cocktail number 28 in the Difford's Guide Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah, that's so, so much better. Oh man. Even without the fresh fruit, that's so much better than all of the like, like tooth rot, you know, neon colored drinks with, um, like plastic monkeys hanging off the glass that you get. Mm. Big fan of this version. All right, 
That's the Bellini Cocktail 28 Difference Guide Cocktail Hall of Fame. My name is Brian. This is my teacher drinks. Thank you guys very much for watching today, and I will see you all tomorrow.